Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Anti-Hero. Now Anti-Hero is a Victorian underworld overlord game and you have to steal things from other players. Now obviously I am not playing with anyone else, I'm just going to be doing the campaign. So let's have a look-see at what is actually going on here. Lightfinger the Master Thief ran his guild in a small corner of a city ruled by violence, corruption, and greed. We won't claim he made an honest living, but he got by. And what other choice did he have? The elites who ruled the city lived like kings while the masses starved. Whether above the law or below it, everyone was a scoundrel of some sort. Oh, so everyone was a scoundrel of some sort, eh? Well, yes, anyway, as I was about to say, this game has just come out on Steam, and if you would like to check it out, then there is a link in the description. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is not sponsored by the developers or the publishers or anyone. I'm completely playing this just off me wanting to play it, and because it looks like a fun game. So yeah, so not being paid. That's, that's my point there. Not being paid to play this. Anyway, let's go and continue, I guess. Alright, so now we get to choose, I suppose. Okay, so what are we doing here? So this is... Aha, okay, so Lygrave is a rival thief and is moving in on our territory. Establish your guild and drive him back. So we are playing as Lightfinger. Okay. Alright, welcome to Anti-Hero. Run your thieves guild, scout the city, steal everything. Bribe, blackmail, and assassinate to win. So if you already can't tell, this is in a sort of board game style. And we're going to be attempting to steal as much as we can get. Anyway, the Master Thief is your main character. He scouts fogged areas and burgles houses. Tap fogged areas, tap. Uh, <laughs> tap fogged areas to scout them. Ah, uh, yes, okay. We're on a PC, but I would expect that this is also going to come out on iOS, perhaps, and things like that. Anyway, let's scout. Yes. Burgle. Let's burgle it. Is that all? The master thief burgled the building, but there's more to be stolen. Small buildings can be burgled twice. The second burglary is less valuable. Aha! Snuffed box scouted. Buildings with banners above them are businesses. Urchins can infiltrate them. Infiltrated businesses provide resources and upgrades. Aha! I see. Okay, interesting. Press the guild button to go to the upgrade screen. Okay. Each turn you can buy upgrades for your guild. Upgrades cost lanterns. Get lanterns from infiltrating trading houses. Okay, so if you want to have a really, really big amount of research, then placing your urchins in those buildings will help. Okay, so cooking. Let's buy it. Yes, cooking acquired. Very nice. Okay, so what are we having? Are we having some soup? <laughs> infiltrate the trading house. Okay, so this is going to be nice. Okay, infiltrate. Right away. Right away. Right away, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, that's what we're doing. Okay, so anyway, your lanterns and gold are shown in the upper left. The green dots above the Master Thief are action points. They refill each turn. We are familiar with that. Scouting and burgling use action points. Move to an already scout. Ah, okay, so moving to an already scouted tile is free. Is that all? Alright, so let's go over there. There we go. Ah, so it uncovers more of the map as we go. That's cool. I like that. You're not the only thief in town. Lygrave, a rival thief, has established his own guild nearby. You'll need to stay one step ahead of him and his gang. Alright. You're out of actions. Press the submit button to end your turn and let Lygrave act. I don't really want to let him act, but that's the game. We need to. Okay, so the Master Thief returns to the safety of the guild after each turn. Okay. Alright, he's getting some research as well. He's infiltrating the bank, which is going to create gold each turn. And now, what's that guy? What is that? I'm going to... I'm I'm obviously going to find out. Ah, it's a thug. Right. Okay, so Lygrave's thug blocks your path. You'll need to deal with him. Okay, so we need to buy the dagger. 
Stabbery. Stabbery, a Master Thief's best friend. Can attack once per turn for one damage. Nice. We're gonna need that. Take out the thug. Attack, yeah. Alright, give me that. Give me that gold. Thank you very much. Red footprints show where Lygrave's gang has scouted. You can still move freely on red tiles. Aha. There's also a church over there and an estate that has just been uncovered. Interesting. Okay, we're getting some more research. You know, I would have, you know, if, if this wasn't the tutorial, I probably would have bought another urchin so that we could get even more research. Yeah, he's making a lot of cash by having the bank infiltrated so much. Recruiting urchins and thugs costs gold. Steal lots of it. The Master Thief steals gold when he enters buildings. Most buildings can be burgled twice. The first burglary is worth more. Get it before your opponent. Alright, so... Burgle dark buildings for gold. Aha! Okay, so that's... Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Scout dark businesses for new infiltration opportunities. Okay. And what is that going to give me? Grade districts have churches. Infiltrate with one urchin to earn one gold per turn. Infiltrate with three urchins for a blackmail victory point. So obviously blackmail is certainly going to be one of those things that is a bit of a... A victory condition, you know, it's, it's kind of a la sort of civilization, you know, relatively similar to that. And also, you know, various other grand strategy games. So that's cool. I like that. Spend your burgled gold to recruit more urchins. All right. Hello. Oh, hello there. Oh, there. That's very nice. Okay, so let's infiltrate that over there. All right, then. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Okay, so with one urchin, the church earns you one gold per turn. Okay, so remember to buy an upgrade each turn as well. Okay. If you can't afford an upgrade, you can always take charity. Charity grants a small amount of lanterns or gold for free. There's no go no downside to charity, no gold to charity. Yeah, take it whenever you're not buying an upgrade. Okay. Aha, I see. Okay, so obviously I'm not buying something because I don't have anything that I can buy. Can I buy this? No, I can't buy that. So I guess I'm just going to be buying two lanterns. I'm just going to get two lanterns here. Two lanterns acquired. And that means I can obviously get something next turn. Unlock the thug. That might be quite nice next turn. But anyway, I don't have anything else that I can do. Can I? No, I can't do anything else. And let's see what he does. Now there's another urchin there. Bank leveled up creates three gold per turn. Well, that's crazy. Uh, uh, the thug. The thug is blocking our path once again. Infiltrated businesses can be upgraded. Send two more urchins to an infiltrated business to upgrade it. Upgrade the church for a blackmail victory point. Right. Add two more urchins. All right, well, I'm going to do that, but what I'd like to do is attack this first. Yeah, you take that. Okay, so let's recruit another one of those, and another one of those. There we go, and we are going to infiltrate. And can I do it? Can I do another one? There we go. I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm on my way. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay, so that's fantastic. So we've now gained a victory point. I would... Oh! What? Is that all we needed? Is that all we needed to actually achieve victory? Well, that's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Nice. All right, I like it. So now we can move on to the next level. Now you can imagine that this is, I would say, much, much more difficult, but much more fun when you're playing with friends as well. But that's not to say that the campaign is not good. Obviously, we're just doing the tutorial right now, so it is a little bit straightforward, but you can see the various, shall we say, strategic elements in play, and personally, I feel like it's very, very riveting, if I can if I can use that word. Anyway, Lightgrave is a continued nuisance. Lightfinger hires some muscle. All right, so visit the local pub, make new friends, many new friends. Oh, yes. So we can play on normal, hard, or easy. I'm just going to play on normal. This seems to be the first true level where we don't have to listen to any tutorials by the looks of things. 
Or maybe th maybe a little bit. <laughs> You're pushing further into the city, but Lygrave is a step ahead. Establish a new guild here and expand your influence. Expand your influence in the city's underworld. There we go. All right, so let's burgle that first. Get some gold. Lanterns are vital for upgrading your guild. Green districts have lantern-producing trading houses. At the start of each level, infiltrate a trading house as soon as you can. Yeah, that's actually my thought. That was actually my thought immediately. On my way. There we go. Give me that. Give me that gold. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have a bunch of different things. So we're going to unlock cooking, of course. because Hello, because we need to get those urchins, don't we? We need to get those urchins. Okay, do we have the dagger first? I think we already have the dagger, so we don't really need to unlock that. But anyway, let's go and infiltrate let's that. Go. There we are. Fantastic. Okay, so now I think I can, yeah, I can just go for the next turn. I'd like to actually try and level up the trading house if I can, because that's going to give me so many more research points. Oh, there's a thug with two health. Okay, well, we only know how to do one damage, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing with that. Ah. Do I want to attack this? I guess. <laughs> Does one damage only. Has recruited another thug, but the dagger isn't enough for him. Press the guild. Aha. Okay, so here we go. Buy the gang upgrade to recruit some more muscle. Okay. Sure, let's do it. Gang acquired. Hmm. It looks like... Yeah. You know who it looks like? It looks like Daniel Day-Lewis in the Gangs of New York. That's it. Yes, that's, that's what it looks like to me. Anyway, attacks enemies, earns gold from kills, upgrades abilities with each kill. Okay, so we have the thug here and the gang, and we can obviously kill them. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, that's what you get. All right, so the gang levels up when it dispatches enemies. Choose an upgrade for your gang after each kill. Ooh, that's fantastic. Okay, so let's level up our damage then, obviously. That's what we're doing. And let's go over there. Is that all? Okay, so what is that? That's a Strange Fellows Club. What does the Strange Fellows Club do? Brown districts have Strange Fellows Clubs. Infiltrate clubs for thug and gang upgrades. Ah, nice. All right, so let's get... What? Let's get another urchin, shall we? Yeah, let's get another one of those. There we go. Thug cost has been reduced by one gold. Well, we obviously haven't unlocked them yet, have we? Well, that's rather amusing in itself. Okay, well, I'm going to get another urchin because... What I'd like to do is try and upgrade I'm the gangs. All right, then. There we go. Okay. And then I'm hopefully going to... Well, I don't even know. Maybe I'll get some more gold next turn or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if Ligrave actually kills my gang now. Blackmail acquired. Ah, okay, so... Ah, okay, I get it. I get it. We need three blackmails. We need three blackmail victory tokens or whatever to be able to win, basically. Fill your victory banner with any combination of victory points before your opponent. See, so there you go. Buy bribes in the guild, assassinate for skulls, or infiltrate churches for blackmail. Fantastic. That's nice. Okay, so let's go over here and scout this. Corrupt city officials regularly issue assassination contracts. Kill the marked victim to earn a skull victory point. Contracts get tougher to kill over time. All right, so I can basically just kill this right away, I would assume. Can I? Maybe. Of course. There you go. Nice. Okay, so that's that's really cool that you can use your gang and your and your thief to be able to do that. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to improve the damage of the gang so that the gang can do one-hit kills on basically any unit. So I think that's going to be pretty good. Now we can also unlock the thug. Nice. I like it. A multi-purpose bruiser. Thugs can either join a gang to give it additional health or move to a tile to guard it and stop enemies from passing. Okay, so yeah, I wanted, yeah, I wanted to do this anyway, so we're just going to join the gang. Give it 3 HP. This is just an unstoppable gang right now. Unless someone just turns up with 3 damage and kills them. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I am oh, new assassinations. Uh, new assassinations, that's good. 
Okay, get two more victory points before lie grave. Infiltrate churches, buy bribes, and assassinate contracts. Well, there's an assassination contract right here, so I suppose I should probably just do that. Neutral henchmen patrol the city. Henchmen won't block you. Oh, they do block your path, but won't attack you. Kill them with your gang for easy money. All right. Sure. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna give. Um, uh, I don't even. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for extra. I'm just gonna go for extra damage. Probably the gold Hello. option is much better, but ah yeah, well, I don't really mind too much. Okay, let's oh, burgle this. Ooh, lovely, a bank. I like this. Banks are nice. They generate gold really, really cool. Okay, so let's see if we can... Oh, you can spend your lanterns to bribe an official and get a victory point. There are multiple bribes to purchase, but each is more costly than the last. Aha! All right. Scouting gives the Master Thief an extra action per turn. We can buy a bribe with five lantern points. So it's very, very lucrative to place more urchins in the trading house, as I thought. So, yeah, we're probably going to do that at some point as if well when we get more gold of course so let's see if i can burgle that yeah there we go get that church gray districts have churches infiltrate with one engine to gain one yeah there we go okay yeah that's fine okay so can i actually change the amounts of urchins no it seems like we can't what? I was hoping that I'd be able to do something with removing the urchins from a particular place. But, there you go, they've actually gained an additional... Uh, more HP. Yes, that's not particularly useful, is it? I think I actually have a bad feeling that I'm going to lose this, to be honest. Yeah, he's starting to infiltrate the bank. Wow, with a lot of them. We really need to try and find extra assassination contracts, to be honest. I think that's probably going to be the best thing to do. Okay, so let's let's scout this out here. Alright, so I can kill that. Think, yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill that with the thief. And then we're going to take the gang and assassinate that target over there. Of course. Yeah, wow. Super damage. We have super damage right there. Okay, so I have two victory points now. We are only one away. This should be good. I don't know what eviction actually does. I think it can probably remove urchins, perhaps? I'm going to take that and just see if that is actually going to come in handy. I'm going to try and scout out this. Ah, that's the enemy's gang. Okay, so that's the enemy's gang. Okay, I don't really need to worry about that so much. Do I? Not really. Let's get another right. urchin out here Let's and go. tell it to go over into the trading house because we might be able to get a bribe or something like that. So let's get two lanterns. And now we are only two lanterns away from getting the bribe and that will give us the last victory point that we require to win. So let's hope that we'll be able to do that. Okay, so submit the turn. Okay. Yeah, if I had put those urchins in the trading house, I would have already won this. So that is that is something to consider. That is definitely something to consider. Are you serious? You're doing one damage? I do four damage with my gang, thank you very much. Alright, so. Let's go and... Yeah, I was hopeful that I'd be able to scout this out. There we go. Oh my, that's a lot of health. That is a lot of health, okay. Well, we're gonna try it. That is some nice damage if ever I saw it. Okay, so I am going to burgle this. And then what we can do is we can technically... Ah, uh, oh yes, okay. So technically, aha! Okay, so you can get Lamplighter, which gives you plus one Lantern per turn. So that would have been an absolutely amazing thing to do earlier. But obviously, it doesn't really matter so much right now. So I'm just going to... Wait a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the gold. And now I should have enough, yeah, to get a, an urchin. Because I want to actually see what happens when we put them into the trading house. Aha, so that that also gives us plus one lantern per turn. So that is 
that's just as good. That's really, really good. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to get this assassination contract and hopefully the other guy, Lygrave, will not turn up and steal it from us. I would assume that you can actually do that. Oh, loads of thugs. Okay, so people was leveled up. Okay, the gang's going in that direction. That's absolutely fine. That was an assassination contract? No? It didn't seem to be an assassination contract. Okay, apparently not. Well, this is going to be pretty easy, isn't it? Because we've won. Sure. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. Victory. There you go. Nice. That is really cool. I am actually really enjoying this game. I love the art style of it. It reminds me a little bit of Don't Starve and, you know, various games like that. You know, that sort of hand-drawn art style. Sort of old-worldy. I like that a lot. I'm actually really enjoying this and... If you're also enjoying it, then by all means let me know. If you'd like to see more, then hit that like button. And also let me know in the comments too. But otherwise, if you'd like to play it yourself, then you can check out the link in the description below the video. And yeah, it's actually really fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. And anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.